Next Wednesday, our season of Steve McQueen films continues with the classic Second World War film, The Great Escape. But for now, we've come to the end of the evening's viewing. So, good night. When I was little, Steve McQueen was my hero. I used to pretend I was him. Hmm. I especially liked him in The Great Escape. That was my favourite film. I don't think I ever saw that. You sad but You must have seen it. Everyone's seen it. Well, what's it about? <laughs> well, Steve's the cooler king, right? And he sits there, throwing his ball against the wall for ages. Sounds good. <laughs> it's, it's not just about that. There's, there's this brilliant bit at the end on a motorbike where everybody's chasing him and he's, and he's jumping over fences on his bike trying to escape. I mean, Steve did all his own stunts. Now, he would have been a cool flatmate to have. Except he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have seen it. Yeah, he doesn't escape, though, does he, at the end? No, 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 poor old shit. What's his name? In, in the film, I can't, I can't remember his name. Mm, I don't know. Chris? Chris. <laughs> Chris. Chris is the sort of name a turd might have if turds had names. Oh, yeah. yeah. Silly me. Chris. Steve McQueen is Chris. <laughs> the cooler king in The Great Escape. All right, yeah, all right. That's right up there with Robert De Niro as Tim in Raging Bull. And Marlon Brando as Toby in The Godfather. <laughs> nah, everyone knows he was called Don. Don Corleone, remember? <laughs> it's funny, really, because Donald's not a traditionally Italian name, is it? <laughs> Just kidding, Matt. Just kidding.